Hi guys, it's Ray. Today we are going to work on these 15 ounce glass coffee mug sublimatable glitter globes from Hog. I am not going to sublimate on these. I don't particularly care for sublimation on glass. I've tried it and I just don't love it. So um, this was wrapped in this. I'd already opened it once. So it does come with a little short matching straw. And it comes with two plugs, which is nice for the bottom, and the bamboo lid. So, but I thought these were a fun, different size. I only ordered six of them, so I'm probably going to try and get through all six of them and just take them to retail. And if they sell, they sell, and maybe we'll do more. Otherwise, they'll be like a one and done. But here's more plugs. I like that it comes with an extra plug, too. And they seem to be a nice, big plug. Because these are only slightly curved at the bottom. So, what I'm going to use for my solution is... Oh, I have these little baby, baby cups. I have a bigger cup is I'm going to use distilled water. So I'm going to fill my cup mostly with that. And there's no rocket science to this. I'm just mixing some. Um, the more water you do, the less of your other product, whatever you're going to use, you'll get a different rate of flow. a little bit of that back into that cup. More towards 50-50. I'm going to mix up two cups because I'm going to do, like I said, probably all of these. And I'm going to use the Elmer's Magical Liquid. This is um, Slime Activator. And this does yellow a little bit. It looks a little yellow in the cup or in the bottle, but when it's in a cup, it's fine. But can you see what I mean? Like this has a sublimation image on it that pff, all but disappears unless you're using like solid black. I just don't care for it. So my opinion, my opinion alone, um, if you like them sublimated, go for it. I just don't care for it. First in my cup, just a little bit of distilled water. So I'm going to put a little bit in a second cup, a small cup. Let me see if I can pour it in the hole. I mean, just a little bit, like maybe a half inch in the open area. maybe a little bit more but that is fine kind of have a rough idea of how much glitter I'm putting in so I'm gonna take a piece of painters tape now I like to start with a full one ounce measuring cup um, that's a fluid ounce measure, not a solid measure. It's not a full ounce of your glitter. But that's what I start with.
and I do like to have a little bottle of 91% alcohol handy. It'll help pop bubbles or bring bubbles to the surface. I do have a small bottle, squirty bottle from Dollar Tree that I will pour my liquid into to fill. I also have a needle cap bottle at the ready to get in tight spaces if I have them. Okay. So I'm going to put my finger on the hole. I'm not going to bother plugging it right this second. Just to give it a good shake. And then I'm going to grab my thing. And I like to kind of rotate my cup because it'll rinse some of that glitter as it goes. Do try and pull the bottle out before you let the air fill in because once you get towards the top, you can start um, sucking glitter back into your bottle and then you have a really big mess. So I'm not quite to the top curve of the cup yet. I'm not going to plug it, plug it, but I am going to fold up a little tiny piece of paper towel and grab a little piece of tape. And these ones have a really good size hole on them, so I might have used too little. But I'm going to make kind of just a temporary plug so I can really shake this up good. But I'm just going to keep filling. I'm actually going to use that air bubble to my advantage to try and shift some of that glitter around from the rim. But I'm going to set this one aside and let it settle for a while and move on to the next one, and the next one, and the next one, and... I at first thought I wanted to do all bright colors, but now I'm thinking I don't want so bright. So I'm going to go repick some glitters. I'm going to use just maybe a half an ounce of this cup on this one. Um, this was in a summer box from It's Pretty Personal. It's an orangey color. Um, but I'm going to use a paper funnel on this one because I'm not even sure with the hole being this big if taping these is necessary or just more of a mess.
So I have this bubble perfectly in the center right now, so I'm just using alcohol because that'll push more of the air than the actual fluid would. If you can catch your bubble in the middle, work it while you can. Now I'm down to just a tiny bubble. So I'm gonna let that one sit to the side and I'm just gonna keep moving on. Okay, so they are all basically filled. I'm going to set them all aside and let them do their thing for a bit. And then I'm going to come try and like top them off a little bit here and there. The ones that need it. The ones that have bigger bubbles surfacing. And then I will come back in and we will get them plugged up and sealed. Okay, so I have my UV light up here. It's just propped up onto mug boxes, so I can just slide mugs out from underneath it and in and out. And I'm going to use Let's Resin UV Resin. And I'm not gonna do anything fancy to these ones. I'm just going to seal them up as is. And I do not see my long-handled lighter anywhere. But I'm gonna start by just doing a tiny bit over and around the plug and then I'll come back in and do a little bit more of the bottom but I'm just gonna torch it real quick and I'm gonna look for my lighter at some point I'm gonna slide this back a tiny bit <laughs> this glitter looks really cool under the UV light. And I'm going to give this like a couple two minute runs. I'm going to give it one the first time around and then, you know, two rounds the second time. So. This one, if I spread my boxes out, I might actually be able to fit two cups underneath because it's made for two hands. Yep, so 
I'm actually going to go ahead and restart it. The pink one will get a little bit longer, but that's okay. Okay, so these two are back out. The next two are in. And this time I'm going to go a little bit more. I'm not going to fill the whole bottom, but a little bit more. Just to be doubly sure we are all sealed. I don't want to go all the way out to that lip. And it's really hard to see. So I'm just going to let these run all through two times around and I'm going to get decals cut and I'll be back to finish these up and we'll have a look at them. Okay, so I have my decals cut for all of these. They're sitting on top of them. They have all been sitting on a paper towel for 24 hours now and it is completely dry. I feel like this one might need a little light sanding, but I'll have to put it on a really flat surface to really make that judgment so I'm gonna decal this way and I am gonna wipe these down with alcohol one more time this is the biggest one I just cut them all in two colors from a fairly substantial style because they're not getting sealed down. So, and let's pick this one up first, of course. Okay, so that is it. Well, this is how these little jobbers look. But that is how they look with their little lid and straw. I tried to pick two colors that would go with each mug. So, it's me. Hi, I'm the problem. It's me. Peace, love, and coffee.
coffee and good vibes. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Mama needs some coffee and ice coffee queen. Which one's your favorite? Let me get them all in frame. There we go. That is all of them. I hope you enjoyed this project. These are a fun cup to use. Not sure I'll get more, but maybe sometime down the road. But um, I just got six to play with. so And they were fun. So that is it, and I will see you next time.